In 2017, the Society of Construction Law issued the second edition of its Delay and Disruption Protocol, which included system dynamics in its list of recognised analysis methods for disruption. If you don't yet know what system dynamics is all about, let us show you. This could be your most recent project. It looks splendid and it's completed, but unfortunately this is not the end of your story. Because the project took more than twice the effort and twice the time to build than you originally planned. A lot of money was spent beyond what you budgeted. Sure enough, reclaiming variation and prolongation costs will allow you to recover some of the overrun, but this will still leave a lot of money on the table. Disruption. So, the question is, who caused it? And how can you prove it? Now, disruption comes from losses in efficiency, and during the course of your project, your efficiency was certainly affected by lots of changes, which happened everywhere, and at all times. For example, you may claim that the employer introduced many variations. Many of these were made informally as mere comments on shop drawings. And at times, in order to minimise escalating delays, you even had to start construction before final drawings were available. The employer, on the other hand, will likely argue that you were inefficient and that you underestimated the complexity of the project. So, if you now want to successfully claim for the disruption the employer caused, you will need to extract order out of chaos and make sense of a lot of different pieces of information. You will need data about the basic characteristics of your project, about its actual performance, and about key management decisions. You will also need to know about the major disruptive events that occurred and about the different ways in which inefficiencies can arise in a project. Traditional methods cannot do this. They may allow you to connect some disruptive events to some performance results, but when the other relevant factors are considered, they will fit poorly. And there are some issues that these traditional methods will not even consider. System dynamics is different. It uses a simulation model to reproduce how project conditions and management decisions interact, driving performance. And the simulation model also shows how this performance is altered by all sorts of disruptive events. In other words, system dynamics simulation models allow you to fit together all the pieces of the disruption puzzle. How does it work? The model starts by reproducing the actual as-built performance of your project. But it then does much more. By simply removing the disruptive events caused by the employer, the model also shows how things would have turned out but for these events. In other words, what would have happened if these disruptive events had never occurred. So, system dynamics accurately and defensively determines how much disruption was caused by the employer, unmistakably linking his actions to the disruption that they and they alone caused on your project. System dynamics, the most systematic, defensible and reliable method to prove disruption, already used on some of the world's most complex projects.